Here are the results before and after implementing these tweaks to improve my Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 2 Lawless performance. This ultimate guide covers the best settings to enhance performance, eliminate stutters and boost FPS. These simple adjustments will make a significant difference. Like and subscribe for more helpful content. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear a Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. The first thing you could try is deleting the Nvidia shader cache. And this is something recommended by Epic themselves if you find you're not getting the maximum performance out of DirectX 12. To do this, press the Windows key plus R to bring up the search box and then type in percent local app data percent, then press enter. Navigate back and into the local low folder. Here you'll find a folder called NVIDIA. Keep navigating inside it till you end up here. Now go ahead and select and delete this folder. If you get a pop-up mentioning a file is in use, just allow it to skip over those files. Now one more step you can take is going into Epic Games and into Fortnite's installation options. Here you can choose to pre-download streamed assets. This will reduce the load on your bandwidth and the need to stream anything. Also, make sure your high resolution textures are turned off since they could be taxing on your GPU and dropping frames. Now guys, download this Fortnite performance boost pack on your PC. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. You can simply download this pack from my website. The link is in the description. Let's tweak the registry to improve system performance by reducing unnecessary visual effects. This tweak will disable various visual elements in Windows, freeing up resources to improve overall performance rather than focusing on aesthetics. To apply it, double-click the registry entry, confirm the modification and click Yes. Once completed, the changes will automatically be applied. Now go into the Windows Registry Optimization folder and install all these registry on your PC by double-clicking on each one. These registries save your time to do manually registry tweaks by going into Registry Editor. Once that's done, launch Fortnite in the background and then run the Process Lasso tool. To get the best performance, begin by adjusting your PC's power plan settings. Choose High Performance to ensure your PC is running at its peak. Make sure to uncheck the Pro Balance, Smart R and Idle Saver options. Disabling these features will free up critical resources for your game. After that, activate performance mode to enhance your system's efficiency and ensure smoother gameplay. Next, go to the options section where you'll find settings for memory and smart frame. Enabling these will help your PC manage its memory better while you're in-game. Then head over to the active process tab. Locate Fortnite in the list, right-click it and set the CPU priority to high. This prioritizes Fortnite's performance. Adjust the CPU affinity to ensure Fortnite uses all cores, except Core 0, for better processing. For a smoother experience, right-click the Fortnite process again and go to the Input slash Output section. Set this to High to reduce input delay. Also, set memory priority to Always for consistent memory usage. Enable the Boost feature to further speed up your system's performance. Make sure your power settings are optimized for maximum performance. Right-click the Fortnite executable, go to the More tab, and set Hard Throttle to No Throttle to avoid slowdowns during intense gameplay. Finally, make sure Fortnite is excluded from Pro Balance mode to avoid interference from other processes and turn off the Idle Saver option. Once you've made all these changes, minimize the Process Lasso tool. It will continue running in the background to ensure that Fortnite always has the best possible performance every time you start your PC. Finally, to further enhance system performance and reduce GPU latency, you can use the MSI Mode Utility Tool. This tool optimizes communication between your GPU and CPU, ensuring a smoother gaming experience. Run the MSI Mode Utility as administrator. Once opened, locate and select your primary GPU from the list. Now check if MSI Mode is enabled. If not, enable it, as this improves the data exchange speed between your GPU and CPU, helping to reduce latency and improve frame times. You'll also see an option to adjust interrupt priority, but it's best to leave it set to normal for balanced performance and stability. Once you've made these adjustments, click Apply to save the settings. These changes are one-time optimizations, 
meaning you won't need to repeat them unless a Windows update resets some settings. After completing these steps, your system will be running more efficiently, allowing Fortnite to perform at its best with lower latency and improved responsiveness. All right, guys, now we're going to disable several unnecessary background services that consume system resources. This will free up memory and CPU usage, helping Fortnite run smoother with better FPS and reduced lag. To start, click on the Windows search bar and type services. From the search suggestions, click on services to open the services manager window. Here, you'll see a long list of background services, many of which aren't essential for gaming and can be safely disabled to boost performance. I've already made a detailed video covering all the services you can disable, but I'll walk you through some of the most important ones right now. First, scroll down to the B section and look for BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you're not using BitLocker, right-click on it and select Properties. In the Startup Type drop-down, choose Disabled. Then, click Stop to halt the service immediately, and finally, hit Apply and OK to save the changes. Next, scroll down to the C section and locate Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service collects and sends diagnostic data to Microsoft, which is not necessary for system performance. Right-click on it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, click Stop, and then apply the changes. Similarly, find Distributed Link Tracking Client under the D section. This service is mainly used in network environments, and if you're not on a network that requires it, you can disable it the same way. Right-click on it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, stop the service, and apply the changes. Another unnecessary service is Remote Registry, located under the R section. This allows remote access to your registry settings, which is not needed for most users and can even be a security risk. Disable it by following the same steps. Right-click, go to Properties, change Startup Type to Disabled, stop the service and apply the changes. Lastly, scroll down to Windows Update if you prefer to manually check for updates instead of having them automatically downloaded and installed. Right-click on Windows Update Go to Properties, set Startup Type to Manual or Disabled, and click Apply and OK. After disabling these services, close the Services Manager and restart your computer to apply the changes. This will help reduce unnecessary background processes, improve system performance, and free up resources, leading to a smoother Fortnite experience with better FPS and reduced lag. Alright guys, now let's tweak some Windows gaming settings to boost Fortnite's performance and maximize FPS. First, open the Windows search bar and type Game Bar Settings. Click on it and turn Xbox Game Bar off to prevent unnecessary background processes from running while gaming. Disabling this feature helps free up system resources, ensuring smoother gameplay. Next, make sure Game Mode is enabled. This setting is crucial as it optimizes your system by prioritizing gaming performance, reducing background activity that could slow down Fortnite. Now navigate to Graphics Settings. Here, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, which helps reduce input latency and improves frame rates by offloading some GPU processing tasks more efficiently. While still in Graphics Settings, it's important to set Fortnite to high performance, so your GPU prioritizes it. To do this, click Browse and locate your Fortnite installation folder. Navigate to this PC, select your drive, preferably an SSD for faster load times, then go to Fortnite Game Pond Binaries, Win64, and select Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping, XE. Once added, set it to high performance to ensure Fortnite gets maximum GPU power for the best possible gaming experience. Next, we're going to adjust the virtual memory settings to enhance system performance and improve Fortnite's stability. Virtual memory helps when your physical RAM is fully utilized by temporarily using your hard drive as additional memory. To start, open the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings, and click on the matching result. In the System Properties window, go to the Performance section and click on the Settings button. Once the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. Here, you'll see an option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Deselect this option to manually adjust the settings. Now select your local disk, C, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. In the Custom Size fields, set the initial size to 1361 MB, as this value is optimized for performance. For the maximum size, you need to calculate the appropriate value based on your total RAM size. 
open the calculator on your computer and multiply your total RAM in GB by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 cut 1024 16384 MB. Now, divide this number by 2, which gives 8192 MB, and enter this value in the maximum size field. Once you've entered the values, click on the set button to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. Next, go to the advanced tab. This is something we didn't cover before. You need to set how your computer uses the processor. Make sure adjust for best performance of programs is selected. This way, your computer will prioritize the program you're using. So, if you're playing a game like Battlefield, the computer will focus its resources on that. Now let's disable hardware acceleration in Discord, as many players turn it off to improve system performance. While this feature helps Discord run smoother, it can consume GPU resources, potentially causing stutters or crashes if you have a lower-end PC. To do this, open Discord and go to Settings by clicking on the gear icon at the bottom. Scroll down to the Advanced section and look for the Hardware Acceleration option. By default, this setting is enabled, but if you run Discord while playing Fortnite, it may negatively impact performance. Click the toggle to turn it off, and when prompted, restart Discord for the changes to take effect. Disabling this setting can help free up GPU resources, ensuring Fortnite runs more smoothly, especially on lower-end systems. Now let's focus on GPU optimization, which is essential for maximizing performance and achieving higher FPS in Fortnite. First, open the NVIDIA Control Panel, or AMD Radeon settings, if you're using an AMD GPU. Then, navigate to Manage 3D Settings. Here, set the Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance. This ensures that your GPU runs at its highest potential instead of throttling performance to save power. Next, find texture filtering quality and set it to high performance. This prioritizes speed over visual quality, reducing unnecessary processing load on your GPU and ensuring smoother gameplay. By making these adjustments, you'll improve overall system stability, reduce lag and significantly boost FPS, resulting in a much smoother gaming experience. To further improve gaming performance and reduce FPS drops in Fortnite, adjusting core isolation settings can make a difference. Simply open the Windows search bar, type core isolation, and click on the matching result. Once inside, navigate to the memory integrity section and turn it off. Core isolation is a security feature that helps protect your system from malicious attacks by isolating certain processes. However, it also consumes CPU resources, which can negatively impact gaming performance, causing stutters and FPS drops. By temporarily disabling this feature, you can free up CPU power to enhance Fortnite's smoothness. Keep in mind that disabling core isolation reduces system security, so it's recommended to re-enable it once you're done gaming to keep your system protected. Disabling delivery optimization can be a game changer when it comes to improving Fortnite's performance. To turn it off, open the Windows search bar, type allows downloads from other PCs, and click on the matching result. Once inside, disable the option that allows downloads from other PCs. This feature allows Windows to share update files with other devices, but if you're not using a network that benefits from this, it can unnecessarily consume bandwidth and system resources, leading to lag, FPS drops, and overall slower performance while gaming. By doing this, you ensure that your system prioritizes Fortnite's performance rather than background updates, resulting in smoother gameplay and improved FPS. Now let's optimize your drives to boost both their performance and your system's responsiveness. While some people believe that optimizing an SSD can harm its lifespan, this isn't true when done correctly. To begin, open the Start menu, type Defrag into the search bar, and select the Defragment and Optimize Drives option from the results. This will open a window showing all the drives connected to your system. Next, choose the drive you want to check, whether it's an SSD or a hard drive, and click the Analyze button. This will scan the drive to determine if optimization is needed. If you're using a hard drive, it will show how fragmented the files are. For an SSD, it will check whether the drive needs optimization. Once the analysis is complete and the drive is flagged for optimization, select it and click the Optimize button. For SSDs, this process usually completes almost instantly. While hard drives might take more time depending on their size, the amount of data stored, and the level of fragmentation. 
It's a good idea to perform this optimization on any drive that needs it, no matter how long it takes. You can even close the window after starting the process, as it will continue running in the background without interrupting your work or gaming session. Disabling Nagel's algorithm reduces latency and enhances network responsiveness, ensuring a smoother and more stable online gaming experience with minimal lag. To disable Nagel's algorithm, follow these steps. Press Windows plus X and select Device Manager. Expand the Network Adapters section and locate your active network device. Right-click on your network device and select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab, where you'll find various network-related settings. Look for TCP checksum offload and large send offload. Disable both options by selecting Disabled from the drop-down menu. This setting often causes latency issues in online gaming, leading to input delays and lag. Disabling it can help create a smoother, more responsive multiplayer experience. Click OK to apply the changes. Additionally, in Device Manager, navigate to the System Devices section and find the High Precision Event Timer. This component is known to negatively impact FPS on certain systems, making it a common tweak for potential performance gains. I've personally turned it off and noticed an improvement in my system's performance. If disabling it doesn't improve performance or causes FPS drops, you can always enable it again. However, for most users, turning off the high precision event timer tends to enhance overall performance, just as it did in my case. Now open your Fortnite in-game settings. Make sure your window mode is set to full screen, as this is crucial to avoid any issues. For the resolution, keep it set to your native one for now. Don't change it just yet. Turn off V-Sync, and for the frame rate limit, you can either set it to unlimited or match it to your monitor's hertz or refresh rate. Next, set the rendering mode to performance. This will lower the graphical quality, but help increase your FPS. Graphics settings are a matter of personal preference. Set the graphics quality to the lowest settings, but keep the 3D resolution at 100%. Set most other options to the lowest or turn them off. Scroll down to find NVIDIA Reflex Latency. I prefer to keep this on as it slightly reduces latency, but if it impacts your FPS, feel free to turn it off. Then, go to the game settings and scroll down to find energy saving modes. Many players have reported FPS stutters when these options are enabled, so I recommend turning both of them off. While you're here, you might notice the replay settings above. Disable most of these, as they can also negatively impact your in-game performance. Now, go to the audio settings and scroll down until you see the subtitles section. Follow these settings exactly. Turn the subtitles off, set the text size to extra small, set the text color to white, set the text border to none, and set the background opacity to clear. This little trick, used by Bugger, can help slightly boost your FPS, so be sure to try it if you haven't already. Don't forget to click apply and then exit the game. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.